Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another unboxing video. Today we are ripping 2023 Panini UFC Immaculate Collection. Very excited to open this box. Immaculate Collection is the highest end UFC cards in the market. And also this will be Panini's last release before losing the license to Topps in 2024. So this will be my second year that I've opened Immaculate Collection. Last year's hobby box, I got a Derek Lewis box. The overall results was, I would say, above average, nothing too exciting, didn't pull anything low number, but I think it was above average. It's got a Derek Lewis Octagon Canvas, Derek Lewis Immaculate Signature 275, got a Oliveira Jersey Auto 299, and a Islam Base Parallel 225. So let's, so last year, what's good about the product was that pretty much all the autos were on card other than the dual autos. This year is a little bit disappointing that they took a step back. Most of the autos this year are sticker autos other than some of the rookies have on card autos. On the plus side, they added some new inserts would, or new cards for this set, such as booklet autographs and also triple autos, quadruple autos, and the chase of the product is uh, 12 auto on a booklet of 12 of the biggest stars in UFC. So that's an exciting part, but still disappointing to see sticker autos in Immaculate. And also I learned that some of the memorabilia cards are not specific fighter worn. So disappointed in those, but overall it's the last year that Panini has their license. So let's see how we do, if we can do better than last year. Six cards per box, but I've seen other YouTubers that have opened this get seven or eight cards. So let's see what we get. So I will be one touching all the hits, so bear with me. It may take me a little bit of time, but I don't get to open this type of product that often. So I'm gonna safely protect them. So here's the tin. Then inside the tin, here's the box. I'll set the tin aside. There's, I'll leave it here. So comes in this box. So let's open it and see what's inside. So, took a sneak peek, looks like we got a redemption at the end, so ah, it's uh, always frustrating to get redemption from Panini, who knows how long it's going to take, but let's get started. Starting off, uh, we have a base to 50, Davison Figueredo. Will not one touch the base or just sleeve him up. Okay. So next, so we should have at least two mem cards per box, but I've seen a lot of boxes get either three or four. Next, we have a Viviani Araujo. This is the Immaculate Collection jersey. See from the back, the enclosed fighter worn use material is guaranteed by Penny, so at least it's fighter use and not some not unrelated material. So I will take that. Okay, coming up, we have oh, nice. I've uh, got a low number card four out of five. Misha Tate, this is a very nice patch. 
Misha Tate, four out of five. This is lower number than any card I hit last year. Pretty cool logo. Phantom weight Misha Tate. And enclosed fighter worn used materials guaranteed. So nice that this is also fighter used. Very nice. Four out of five Misha Tate. Next we got oh a nice patch. Nine of ten Stephanie Egger, the Venom Patch Jersey. Got two pretty nice so all three memorabilia cards are female fighters and got two pretty nice patch Stephanie Egger and Misha Tate Jersey Venom patch let's see on the back enclosed fighter worn use materials guaranteed by Penny so it's pretty good three cards that are fighter worn I think I was watching Joe Stash video I think Conor McGregor and John Jones Mem cards, those are not fighter or fighter use, so that's disappointing. And then next we got Kai Car Fronts Auto Jersey to 99. So that's one of the downside of this year's design is the sticker is covering the numbering and also covering some of the fighter's face here. It's uh, Panini's last year of the license, so yes, that's the uh, best effort they will put forth. Kai Car Fronts, yes, two color memorabilia auto jersey. Let's see, enclosed fighter worn material and autograph guarantee by Panini. So, at least so far, all four are fighter worn. And well, so far, didn't hit any big names yet, two cross love. We'll see what we get. So one more auto and last one is a redemption of some sort. And next, okay. Oh, nice. There's a, I think that's an on-card auto. Stipe Miosic. Former heavyweight champ. Hope to see him fight John Jones this year. So immaculate milestones. Six wins and title belts. It's very nice. This is on car two. And this, also oh, this 2022 Immaculate. So this was an update from last year's set, not from the current year 2023 set. This, uh, this year's set was a 2023. And this was from last year, I guess. Did it make it into the packs last year? Okay, so overall, so far I would say maybe slightly better than last year with the two low number patches, but names wise, I would say it's okay. I, I mean, Stipe is a GOAT in the heavyweight division, Kai Car Franz. I guess he's all right. He, I think he lost his last title fight to Marino, and then I think he got injured and didn't fight. His last fight in Australia. So here is the the redemption. Immaculate collection. Marks of greatness. Thirty four Islam. Okay, not bad with the Islam. I guess last year also got an Islam base number to twenty five. Okay, so hopefully he signs and can get this soon. So quick. Recap on this, the Figueredo base, uh, Viviani, a Rojo flyweight jersey, and then a pretty nice Misha Tate patch to number four five. Also fight, fighter use, fighter worn. Uh, also another nice patch, uh, Stephanie Eger jersey. High Car Franz Auto Jersey, Stipe Auto 99, and then Marks of Greatness Redemption for Islam. So, overall, I think it was, I'd say, above average again. <laughs> Didn't hit a booklet or 
any of the top stars low number, even though I guess Michote was a pretty good fighter back several years ago. So this is the last Panini product. We'll see when Tops will come out with theirs in 2024. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you at the next one. Bye.